What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here, PackersNews.com, live in the late afternoon. Getting to the late afternoon on Thursday, talking some Packers, seeing what's on your mind. Not a whole lot of news to discuss, but as always, as is my want, getting on here, talking to you fine folks, see what's on your minds about the Green Bay Packers. Randy, hello. Thanks for joining us. Um, you know, like I said yesterday, make sure you're checking uh, PackersNews.com for all the latest. Michael and uh, Tom have their latest podcast up. My next podcast will be up uh, within the next day or two. I'm waiting on a, a guest. I'm hoping to snag, but if not, I'll come up with something for you. Pedro, how are you, man? Kevin, thanks for joining us. Ben, no Des News. Um, it's interesting, too, because uh, now... As of, I think it was two days ago, the NFL has no more restrictions and any signings in pertaining to compensatory pick formula are all off the table now. So if teams so choose to sign any free agents, they do not count uh, against the comp pick formula. Well, that's notable for Green Bay because they, uh, as it stands right now, they probably won't have any compensatory picks. They've kind of evened out. So their walkings and their signings. Um, so if they were to sign somebody now, it would not count against that formula, um, but we'll see. Any chance Ty Montgomery is the returner? I suppose he has a little history of that early on, his rookie year, he did, he did some. Um, I'd be surprised, I think that's one of the big uh, spots where Jair Alexander can get his hands on the ball early, uh, but you never know, maybe they give him a shot. Only boring baseball for three months. You know, I tell you what, I, I was down on baseball for a long time, and I, you know, I'm never going to be the game's biggest cheerleader, but I will say um, the MLB at bat app has single handedly brought me back to baseball simply because it allows me to listen to Bob Uecker, um out here in New York. But, but that said, you know, baseball, as someone once wrote, it holds your hand through the summer. I kind of like that analogy. And in our case, it holds our hand until football season arrives. It's fine by me. John, how's it going, man? Thanks for joining us. You know, do you think the Saints will be a 500 team? Yes, I do. And I know that's not great for the Packers because uh, that decreases the value of their pick. But um, barring an injury to Drew Brees, um, I don't see much setting that team back. Uh, Chelsea are no longer elite. Andy, you got that right. Thanks for that breaking news. Oh, hey, look, some anonymous commenter called me a nerd. How will I, how will I go on? Oh, my God. I think Jair is a slot corner day one. I doubt they risk him on punt return. I vehemently disagree there. Um, you know, Randall Cobb was returning kicks his rookie year. Um, heck, uh, Deshaun Jackson was returning kicks well into his career. Um, you know, it's an exciting play that can allow you to break a kick and change a game. If the kid's got the stuff, get him out there. Let him do it. Am I from Wisconsin originally? I am. I am from Appleton. What are you going to do with Ty now that we have development at running back? Uh, Eric, I've been saying I think they'll continue to use him as a switch, switch blade bit of kind of player. Uh, use him between running back and wide receiver. Uh, big key will be, I believe, on third down. I think Cousins will be an issue. For the NFC North, well, I think uh, the Vikings will be undoubtedly. Um, I, you know, I don't think Kirk Cousins is the monster upgrade from what they are that they had last year. I think he is a bit better, um, but you know, I think the big key to that team is going to be his defense. It's going to continue to be so with Zimmer at the helm. Um, so yeah, it, 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 I think he gives them a steady hand at quarterback, and I think he will be a, he will play at a high level. Um, but I think, you know, Zimmer and the defense are the real problem when you're looking at the Vikings. <laughs> Football nerd. That's a compliment. Yeah, you got that right. How many drafts do you think make, how many draft picks do you think make the team? Whew, good question. Um, I mean, there were a lot of them, right? Let's go with seven. And I'm completely pulling that number out of thin air. Do you think any team would even want Hunley? Drew, not in trade. I can, I, people ask occasionally, and I suppose it's a possibility just because 
you know, quarterbacking is so rough around the league, and obviously Hundley does have some starting uh, starting history now. Um, but I think most teams would assume that he will lose that co- backup competition to Deshaun Kaiser, and if they really wanted him, they just wait for him to get cut. Uh, what rookie are you most excited about this year, Thomas? Uh, I don't really get excited for the draft picks uh, per se, but I will I will say that I am uh, curious to, uh, to see um, Equiminius St. Brown. Um, I think he's a He's a curious case in that um, he's got a lot of the tools that they look for at the position. Um, and he played with really, I mean, he had really suspect quarterback play throughout much of his career. So, including one to Sean Kaiser. So, uh, yeah, I think with his ability, if he can grasp the playbook, coupled with Aaron Rodgers being Aaron Rodgers, um, I think I like his upside. Our running backs. Over, under, or properly rated? I guess it depends on who's doing the rating. Um, I think I think most Packer fans recognize what they have. They're they're good, stable, good core. I don't think anybody, except maybe some of the ardent, really diehard fans, are, are saying that any one of them is going to be a big star. Um, I think Aaron Jones has potential to be. Um, but I think most people recognize what that crew is, and that's a you know good young developing group can we fire Raji his production has fallen off I like it William what's up man um tight end depth behind Graham Blake we talked about this a bit yesterday um you know obviously Kendricks is still there and after that you you gotta think they're hoping that either Emmanuel Bird or uh, a couple of the undrafted guys step up or maybe they go fishing in free agency after they go through OTAs and minicamp and decide they don't like what they have on hand. Uh, you know, Bird flashed last year in camp after being picked up late. This will be his first full offseason in Green Bay. So we'll see what they have there. Rogers going to make $33 million. Um, I saw that report. Uh, that would make sense if, uh, you know, Matt Ryan's making just over 30 you know, Rogers hovering around 33 makes a lot of sense. I think a lot depends on the guarantee and the number of years. And really, after all of that, the Rogers contract comes down to what they can do cap-wise, how they're going to manage the cap, and how Russ Ball can ensure that the cap hit from Rogers never becomes prohibitive and a true problem. Um, that's one of the things they did really well last time around. Um, when they signed Rogers to his last deal, he never became, I mean, I think this year he's set to be what, a $22 million hit on the cap, which, you know, for the caliber of quarterback Rodgers is, is, you know, probably, um, if anything, undervalued. So, um, yeah, I think that that's the big question. I, 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 people will get wrapped up in what the guarantee is, the number of years, et cetera, et cetera. I think to me the big part is what can Russ Ball do to mitigate any you know, at any point in that contract, the cap number jumping up to something that's uh, irresponsible. Clark, the tight end, Brian, I doubt it. Um, he's having, you know, his first full off season trying to learn wide receiver in, in with Green Bay. I can't imagine they're going to uh, now all of a sudden, especially after a rookie camp, just switch him. Um, you know, the, he got his feet wet a little bit there at the end of the year. He's a big, tall guy. Um, We'll see. Now, you can't say, you know, never say never. Um, Maybe they get to the point where uh, they need the depth and, you know, they make the kind of move they made with Montgomery from from wide receiver to running back. But, you know, the thing with tight end in Green Bay is it's such an involved position. You do so much. You, you know, not only the inline stuff, but the the spread stuff. Uh, And then you also have to do the H-back where you're in the backfield, both, you know, running routes and pass protecting. And, you know, outside of the quarterback, they probably have to know more of the offense than anyone else. So, um, yeah, that, that would be a big switch for a guy who's already swimming, trying to learn the intricacies of the wide receiver spot. Uh, George, I talked about St. Brown a little earlier. Um, I like, you know, the height, weight, speed combo coupled with Rodgers at quarterback. I think it's all about, 
if he can get his nose in the playbook and get on the same page with the quarterback, he's got got the potential to be a, a, a decent sleeper, yeah. More two tight end sets. You know what's so funny is, remember la the last year this time, once they had signed Bennett and Kendricks, and my gosh, I think we talked about two tight end sets till the cows came home, and then the cows never came home because they didn't run a whole lot of two tight end sets. I mean, they ran some. Um... But I really thought they were going to run a whole lot more, and that never kind of materialized. Now, some of that was due to injury, some of that was due to play game planning and play calling and things of like that nature. But, yeah, I, I'm not going to sit here in, in May and, and say, oh, yeah, they're all set to run a bunch of two tights. Um, now, that said, you know, they are talking about redoing the offensive playbook and starting from scratch and bringing in lots of new ideas. So maybe the ace personnel is something they look at and make make that a staple of their of their offense. Is Oren Burks a starter next to Blake? Randy, I think he's got a real good chance to be. Um, you know, he has to prove that he can take the wear and tear uh, and get off of blocks of, like, centers and guards getting up to the next level on him. Um, that's going to be a big question mark. You know, he's obviously an athletic guy, sideline to sideline guy, but can he take, you know, the first down kind of pounding that he's going to in the NFL? That remains to be seen. Do you think the Packers will sign Eric Reed? No, I do not. Um, and I don't think that has anything to do with his political stance. I just think they think they've got the horses they need at safety. Now, maybe an injury comes along and changes that equation, but um, I think they like their depth there. Jake Ryan getting cut? Can't say it's not a possibility. I think Burks can be our Deion Jones. I think that's the idea, Douglas. Um, I don't quite rate him that high, but been wrong before. Going to be wrong again. Probably on this. Kyle, don't talk to me about Morata. All right? I don't want to hear any more nonsense about Chelsea. All right? I know Chelsea sucks. All right? I know Morata's terrible. I've lived with it all season long. We don't need to discuss it here on Facebook Live. I will do a personal Facebook Live sometime, and I, we can talk all about how bad Chelsea was this season. All right? Uh, whoo, Tony, that's that's a rough comment there, buddy. Well, the Packers consider Fleener. Stanford, I doubt it. Um, he's still struggling with um, effects from concussions that kept him out for most of last year. I would be very surprised if the Packers took a flyer there. Haha -ha needs to step up. Randy, you got that right. And, you know, he, he recognizes that. Um, when the NFL Network put him at number, what was it, 100 on their top 100 players, um... You know, he publicly said it was a down year for him. He recognizes that he did not play up to his standard. I think Mike Pettin's going to have a big, you know, part in turning his game around. Uh, but he's got to make plays, and he's got to uh, he's got to be much better, you know, tackling, coming up and run support, and things of that nature. Cliff Averill, uh, Eli, I, I highly doubt it. Again, that's a guy deal coming off with an injury. Most of these guys you see uh, being released at this point are either, you know, because they can't do it anymore or they're coming off of some kind of significant injury and a is no different. You're still very upset about Jordy. Okay. You're allowed to be. Should I get a Ha-Ha jersey or a King jersey? Whoo, you are asking the wrong guy. Um, man, whatever. What does your heart tell you? How's that? Because you know whoever you choose is either going to, like, leave in free agency or, like, get hurt or whatever. And it'll be your fault, and we can all blame you. No, I'm kidding. Um, I would get King, just because he's on, only on his second year, and HaHa's -Ha entering the last year of his contract, and there's no guarantee he sticks around. That's life in the NFL. Gilbert, six sacks this year? Michael, that's a good over-under right there. That's a good over-under. Uh, I'll go under, just because I'm not sure how much he'll be on the field, but uh, I think six is attainable. I think he's got the talent to do it. It's just a question of can he get on the field? Will Green Bay's defense be a top 10 defense this year? Ask me again in August, once we've seen camp and guys in pads and you know get a little bit better handle on who can do what and where everybody's playing. What's wrong with Montrevious Adams? David, nothing as far as we know. Um, he's just got to uh, get on the field. Obviously, he missed a great deal of time last year with that ankle. Um, and then when he did come back, he was unable to get on the field. But... Um, yeah, we'll see if he can. You gotta think. You know, he's kind of like a wild card at this point. It's like a 
you don't really know what you got there. Um, when they drafted him, they had hoped that he would add some, you know, punch to their inside rush. We'll see if that materializes. But right now, he's a big unknown. Uh, would Ty Montgomery be a good bargaining chip in a trade for anyone the Packers might want? Um, what makes him attractive is that he's going into the last year of his rookie deal, so he's cheap. What makes him unattractive is that he has been unable to stay on the field for any length of time. Uh, I think, you know, you can't dismiss it out of hand. It's, you know, make, they make calls all the time. People make calls to them all the time, looking at various scenarios, etc. But I tend to doubt it, but you never know. Uh, thoughts on Beagle having an impact? Um, I think that's one of the big things we're counting on. Um, they've talked a couple times now, both at the Combine and then at the draft, about you know the last couple of draft classes need, needing to step up, and especially guys like Beagle and Gilbert, because of the fact that they didn't really add to the pass rush until late in the draft. Um, so those guys are going to be counted on. You know, they're going to have to step up, and they're going to have to produce. I think Beagle is a big part of that. Um, and don't forget, you know, passing on T.J. Watt will always be linked to Vince Beagle. If Beagle brings it and King plays at a high level, the decision was sound. If uh, those guys falter and Watt uh, continues his development and becomes a really good player, then Thompson will have to live with that. We need another right now developed edge rusher. Eh, really, do you? I mean... I'm sure Jets fans were saying the same thing back in 09, 010, you know? And then they just went out and had one of the best defenses in the league without a real, right now, edge rusher. You know? Mike Penton's got, a, got some, some stuff to work with, and I'm not sitting there saying he's going to be a magician, but um, let's see. Let's see what he can do with that front, because I think, um, I think Packer fans are going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Chances we trade for Jordy Nelson. Whew. All right. Now it's time to go. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, I'm going to jump, but thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, barring any breaking news overnight. In the meantime, make sure you're checking PackersNews.com for all the latest. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.